leads me into opulence, into success, into harmony and love and beauty and friendship, and it does this in peace, in joy, and in certainty. I let that divine within me, using whatever method it may, restore me to perfect health, perfect happiness, and harmony, and bring into my experience everything that is good, that is perfect, that is true and successful. Yes, I am guided, not misguided, I am guided into opulence. See, faith is, what is faith? The substance. The substance of what? Things. Things. Faith is the substance of things. Which means if there are, if there is no faith, there can't be any things. Prophet. Faith is connected to things. Faith cannot work for no things. It's impossible for faith to work unless you put a thing for faith to work for. Because faith is the substance of things. If you don't have a dream for things, faith cannot work. Faith does not work with nothings. If you say, well I, well, I don't want anything, then faith says, well, I'm taking a vacation. You have me unemployed. <laughs> faith only works when you start employing things in your consciousness. That's why you got to get bigger dreams so that your faith can keep working for the larger picture of success that wants to come. Some of you, your faith is saying to me right now, they have not put me to work in years. They haven't asked me for a thing. They haven't reached for a newer thing. They have not reached for a new idea. They have not stepped out into a new arena. Their faith is not making them whole. Because faith fills the gap where there was lack. Faith eliminates the lack and put the things in place. Um, Prophet Kelly, what you want to say? Master Prophet, can we say this? Because now we have understood that substance is supply. So then can we say that faith is the supply of things hoped for? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> That's the only thing that can bring supply is faith. Because without faith, it's what? Impossible. Impossible to please God. So even God gets blessed by things. A matter of fact, isn't it Psalms 20, 35 and verse 27? Let's look at Psalms 35 and verse 27. And um, why don't you read that for me? Psalm 35 and 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Let the Lord be magnified. So God only gets magnified in my prosperity. Yes. Only when I am prosperous, God starts having joy. Jesus. There is no joy. Mm -hmm. There is no joy. For the Father, unless you're flowing in opulence. Okay, read on. Principle number 20, the final principle, read. The mind must be conditioned for opulence. Okay, the mind, I want to type that in. The mind must be conditioned for opulence. Read on. The promise is, seek his kingdom, and these things shall be yours as well. Luke 12 and 31. Prosperity and success will come easily and freely when you look to God as the source of your good and give thanks that within yourself is the unborn possibility of opulence and fulfillment. We need to condition our minds to receive and express this infinite, and pos infinite possibility by affirming, I am a rich and healthy child of God. Good. Everybody say to me, I am a rich, I am rich. and healthy. Child of, God. child of God. Say it again. One more time. I am a rich and healthy child of God. And I want anyone to type that in. I am a rich and healthy child of God. 
Well, I hope you got something out of today's teaching. Opulence. I want everyone to type in right now, I am guided into opulence. I am guided into opulence. Because once you start understanding the power of opulence, you start understanding the power of who you are.